Welcome, here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today, this is my HyperPi PC. I've been messing around with it. Um, it's nearly ready for release. So I'm just going to go through all the systems that are on it thus far. Um, Atari 2600, Atari 7800, Virtual Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Famicom Disk System, NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Game Gear, SG-1000, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Sega CD, 32X, Sega Saturn, PSP, PlayStation, TurboGrafx-16, and Vectrex. Um, I had some requests for PS2, GameCube, all the newer stuff. Um, those would have to be update packs. Uh, the reason being is I don't have any attract mode themes for uh, those systems. I wanted to add Wii, um, Wii U, um, PS2, and also I wanted to add um, GameCube. So GameCube, the emulator is all set up in the configuration. Everything is ready for ROMs to be dropped in and themes to be added. So if I were to go into here, and I've left all the initial displays, I'm only uh, showing these ones on the menu. So if we were to go down to Nintendo GameCube uh, display, then I can go ahead and put it back into the menu and the cycle. Um, I think I may have to restart for it to appear. Yeah. Okay. So let me go ahead and exit and reopen. Go down here. Okay. So uh, I want to find a better, a better wheel art. As you can see, there's no no background or anything like that, and no background here. Um, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Like I said, I think it's going to be an update pack. Same with PlayStation 2. Uh, the other thing that I modified with this is the PSP. Um, it used to be the PSP minis. However, I, I did PSP, I did the PSP theme. Um, and then the only thing that I didn't change the name of, uh, it's running a little sluggish on my computer just because OBS is running. But it'll run perfectly for you guys. Um, so if we were to go into PSP, I don't have any games, but there you go. Um, you would need all the artwork, and it already has the theme and everything. Um, the emulator's set to go. You just gotta add ROMs, wheel art, and video snaps. So I did leave this available. Um, another one that's ready to go is Sega Dreamcast. You'll just have to add your own ROMs, wheel art, and video snaps. Um, that's pretty much it. There's a lot of games for, for every system. There's almost every game, pretty much. Um, let, I'm just going to get rid of this GameCube display here. Uh, it, will, it won't go away until I restart, but I'm not going to restart right now. Um... So, just just almost, you know, ROM sets are are in with most of these systems. The only ones that don't are Sega CD only has Snatcher. Uh, I did the wheel the wheel art and the and the video snap. And Sega Saturn. Uh, there's Batman Forever the arcade game. I just wanted to put these in there so that you can see it working. I don't have the video snaps just yet for Sega Saturn. And place, PSP is empty, uh, as I showed. And PlayStation has Spyro the Dragon. And so you guys can go ahead and add more games if you want. Um, so... I won't be releasing this right now. Uh, I'm still. The only reason is, this is 
over I want to say over 40 gigs um, maybe closer to 50 and so I don't I don't have the online storage uh, available um, my Google Drive is full and my mega I have other builds that I want to upload um, so this is this is it here this is the whole build most of these have just everything going on um, all the artwork and everything like that and they look really good um, you can go from system to system from here as well if you wanted to so the reason why I wanted to make this video was uh, I started building this and like I said I am completed with this uh, as far as I'm gonna take it right now I may release update packs in the future uh, first I've just got to work on my online storage to get this uploaded for you guys um, I have another build that I'm working on um, and it's gonna be hype I'm gonna call it hyper arcade and basically it's gonna be hyper pie um, and there's gonna be nothing but arcade games on that build it's gonna be final burn alpha and MAME. Um, but there's all the collections wheels uh, will be there so you can just go to the Street Fighter collection the double dragon collection the the I believe there's a shoot 'em up fighters all that kind of stuff I'll leave the collection wheels there um, and try to include as many games as I can uh, without making it too huge of a file um, and tr and I'm, I I want to wean out any duplicates so um, that's pretty much it uh, I got a really 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 cool build if you guys were into my NES classic emulation station build uh, that I that I've just released I think you're gonna really like this new one that I've got it's the ultimate version um, it's got all the background sounds the the menu looks amazing uh, I can't wait to show you if you're interested just uh, let me know in the comments uh, like this video subscribe to the channel uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post a teaser of it. Uh, I don't want to release it just yet. I've got a couple little things I want to tweak to make it 100%, but it looks amazing thus far. So um, let me know if you guys are interested in another NES Mini uh, build because this one is much, much better. And if you are, like I said, I'll release a teaser trailer as soon as I can, and then I'll try and get the build uh, readily available for you guys uh, as soon as possible. So again, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.